Hey, what's up? I'm DJ Silver, and you're watching Buzz 33. We can take it slow. I want to trace the tattoo and find out where it goes. Flicker the candle, caught up in the glow. But ain't too hot to handle. Take me out, take me out my safe zone Whoa. Even if I say stop, tell me you won't Take me out my safe zone You got me on the edge You're closer than I've been before What if we let go? I started in college, pick up women I mean, whatever, making a little extra cash <laughs> And I uh, just kind of turned into a thing. I used to be DJ Quicksilver, and uh, there was already a DJ Quicksilver, and so it's either Quickie or Silver, so I went with Silver. You know, in order to become, to better yourself, you've got to open yourself up to things, different avenues, and, and I was always intrigued by production, so I just literally got Ableton and Pro Tools and surrounded myself with professionals and, and just try to be the best at it I could be. And seriously, every time I open up Pro Tools or Ableton, I feel like I learned something different. Just, there's so many, great things about it and the production and just it's one of those things I can go in the studio and leave the next day and not even not even realize I'm in, I'm in there. Uh, first big stadium show was Fenway Park yeah and and I and it was it was awesome it was 40 50,000 people whatever it was then you played Sweet Caroline and the stadium just erupted it was great. Now you got a new album out. I do. And it's been some time between the last one. What was the break? Was well, I, it just, I've always been the believer of just, just putting out singles. Okay. I feel like when somebody puts out a record, it's a lot of pressure. Unless you have a huge pre sale fan base like Post Malone or Al Dean or something like that, it just really doesn't do me any good to throw a big, just drop a whole album out. But I just haven't done a full album, so I was like, we're going to release a full album. And it took me about a, almost a year to put it all together, writing and producing it. And, we ended up with 28 tracks, and, and uh, I narrowed it down. I got a call one night, said narrow it down to 10. So I, at midnight, the night before my album came out, I gave away 18 tracks for free. Wow. And uh, no, no, the whole process, it was just a lot of work, a lot of my team really having to do a lot of stuff, and yeah, it was just it, it took a, it took a few of us to get it where we're at, where where it, where it got to be, I guess is what I'm saying. But uh, I always just put out singles. Just it was just easier. I, I was always intrigued in the process and I wanted to say, you know, I wrote that, I produced that, me and this guy did this song. And it was uh, it, it was definitely, you definitely take influences from Steve Aoki, Calvin Harris of the world that write and produce all their own stuff and you just see them and you're just like, and I can do this. I, so just lock yourself in a studio and like get to work and that's kind of, I just, you know, I, I never want to be complacent, I always want to see what I can do to better myself and take it to the next level and I just felt like production and writing and putting out this album was the next step and the best part about this album in my opinion is that every genre in the world's on this record. I mean I got Little Flip from Texas, one of my Texas homies did a, a couple records, I got Constantine from LA, I did two big room house tracks, um, John Gurney, Low Cash, uh, Josh Melton coming in to do country songs and then I, we got pop records on there. I just it just shows you that this world is blended together, and, I, and it and it can't happen if you let it. I started a group called Roadhouse. We just signed a record deal in Nashville. Well, all the stuff is coming out, but we're like a a country version of the Chainsmokers, and and we're stepping up. I, you know, I travel 51 weeks a year. I do 300 plus shows every year, and I just and I felt like I was in this this this. Box. I just I, I'm always known as the guy that opens up for Al Dean or opens up for Luke Combs or opens up for whoever, which is a blessing and an honor. I'm happy to do it, but I, I mean, I want it. I want more. I want, I want to be the. I want a slot, the, you know, Blake Shelton, DJ Silver, kind of thing, a Roadhouse, and and uh, and I. So I sat down with the heads of Live Nation, some friends from Chicago, and I just said, how do I take DJ Silver to the next level? They said, give me a reason to sell more tickets. And we went back in, we crunched it up with the team, and I came up with Roadhouse. Called my buddy DJ Icon in Las Vegas, and I said, I got this, I got this thing I wanna do, and it's me and you. And there we go. So that's, uh, that's gonna be the next chapter. And the thing with like Icon and myself, we're, we're already headlining Hakkasan's, The Grain in Boston, Memoirs Boston, Jewel, we're already headlining these, these clubs, and I just said, let's, 
We're gonna put this group together. We're gonna make music fun again. We're gonna go into these big, huge Vegas nightclubs or Miami nightclubs where it's us all either really heavy EDM or just really hard hip hop. And we're gonna come in and we're just gonna party rock the shit out of this and just make fun music. And that's that's the whole thing with Roadhouse, putting the fun back into music. At the end of the day, if people don't come to, you know, I, if I played my music all day, it'd be boring. I played to make you have a good time, you to have a good time. And I, I was I was telling Barry on the way up here, it's like, you know, it doesn't matter how old the song, whatever songs, but if that song sparks a memory in your head, that's how you relate to everyone in that place. And, you know, I went through a phase where I was like, man, I'm not playing this cheesy shit. I'm gonna go do, it's gonna, we're big room house tonight, we're at Hakkasad, we're going in to till like, you know what, fuck it. You know, drop the YMCA in the middle of the thing. And it just, and that's why people leave. You know what I mean? Right. And, and it's, just, I, it, but I had to almost get in my own head and just say, you know what, these people paid to have a good time. Let them have a good time. Well, you don't have to be the guy standing on top of things, blowing out cryo, trying to be cool. To get drunk with people, have a good time, and go and go eat breakfast, and go to strip joint after or something. You know. Where can new fans follow you on the interweb and don't know because they should know? Oh, thank you. Uh, Instagram at DJ Silver One, D E E J A Y Silver One, and there's a link to my website, DJSilver.com, and all the tour dates, and and uh, we're all over. So hopefully, being in town, close, come see us. Hi, my name is DJ Silver, and you just been buzzed.